salt, and water, and it's aged for, Jen, you're going in the background. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Geller, and today we are making my best ever gravy. I've got an incredible formula for foolproof, fail-proof, perfect every time gravy, and you don't even need a turkey for this. So you can make it while your turkey's cooking or anytime. I've got a secret ingredient. Before I tell you what it is, make sure you follow me everywhere. That means Facebook, Instagram, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a thing. You ready for this? Let's go. Okay, here's the formula. It's so easy, you don't even have to write it down. Four components. Three tablespoons of fat, three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of flavor, two cups of liquid. So for this recipe, we need three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then we move on to our flour. Three tablespoons of flour. And we're going to make a roux from the fat and the flour. You wanna make sure you're on medium low heat. This way, you won't burn the roux. And you wanna whisk out any clumps of flour here. Flavor comes from this secret ingredient. This is why you can make this gravy while your turkey is roasting, and it's suitable for all the vegetarians at your table. All the flavor comes from here. Kikoman traditionally brewed soy sauce. Now, I only use traditionally brewed soy sauce. What that means is this is aged like a fine wine, and this is gonna give me that rich and savory umami flavor. So now that we have this nice and incorporated, we're going to add our flavor. We have two tablespoons of Kikoman traditionally brewed soy sauce. Great. Continue to whisk to incorporate that flavor. Gives us a nice, rich color. And for the last component of our formula, I am using two cups of broth. Now, if I want to keep this vegetarian to satisfy all of the dietary needs of my table, then I will use two cups of low-sodium vegetable broth. Feel free to use low-sodium turkey, chicken, or beef broth. You want this to simmer here and reduce down and thicken till it reaches your desired consistency. I like when it coats the back of a spoon. That's nice gravy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour this into our gravy boat. Perfect. Now we gotta put on some mash, right? You ready for this? Whoa. All right, my job is done here. I'm gonna link to this recipe below. You can find it at jamiegeller.com. If you wanna find out more about Kikoman traditionally brewed soy sauce, head on over to kikomanusa.com. I'm also gonna give you an amazing recipe for caramelized onions, mashed potatoes, and even a whole turkey, because I'm nice like that. When you try this recipe, let me know if you agree that it's the best ever gravy in the comments below. Bye guys.